me tell you a story about a scammer. A scammer, a scammer. And my hand is fat. My God. When am I losing this weight? A scammer, when we were young, we just finished uh, college. And uh, we were looking for jobs. So uh, an advert <coughs> was placed that uh, you attend that interview. You could apply for that interview through a call and... Uh, when you called, when I let me talk of myself because I'm the one who was scammed anyway. When I called, uh, I was told, okay, the interview is on this and that date. And what we were required to do is to go with our uh, some 500 shillings and um, um, a uniform, a kind of a, a gym uniform because it was a, a gym related interview. So we were asked to carry maybe a t-shirt and a pair of shorts. And um, we were told to attend the in, the interview formally. So we had to go dressed dressed in our usual handbag and uh, the, our usual outfit, official outfit. But uh, we had to carry that outfit for gym. Um, and uh, you know, when you carry that outfit, you can never uh, fail to carry the shoes. You need to carry some sports shoes or uh, some rubber shoes. And of course, because you, you attend uh, while uh, official, you have to have a, maybe a handbag. 500 shillings and um, a phone of course the phone has to be there so when we got there we were uh, received in we found out uh, it's a new room on fifth floor and we were received in there were just a few seats there like four seats and uh, a table and nothing else in that office and we were told that in the in the process of innovating and uh, we were asked to immediately we we, we got in because we got in, in the, at different times, we were asked to leave our table, our our uh, handbags. Uh, we change. We were asked to change. We were asked to change from the uniform, the official, the f official wear, to the gym uniform, and then we would go upstairs and wait. Then we we were shown where to place the the our handbags, and our phones, and uh, the the outfit we have removed. So we were shown where to put them in a separate room and every person who was coming was uh, undressing i mean changing not undressing changing leaving the outfit there the handbag and the phone and going upstairs to a room an empty room that was like a, like a, just a, an empty space you know on top of the buildings there is that empty space where where you you can hang clothes if it is a place like a residential. But in this case, it was an office area. So it was just a flat area, a free area. And people could come. They change. They go upstairs. About 20 of us were there. Then we were told we'll be called one by one. Because uh, while there, we were given some activity to do. Now that we were in the gym outfit, we were given some, some activity to do. There was an instructor who was telling us we have to keep jogging, 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 jogging. And... Uh, Get, uh, doing a bit of work you, you you do mark time you know like the the security guards the security um farms the way they train their workers you walk you walk you march you march you reach there you come back that is the way it was we were asked to do that several times as we were waiting for our names to be called so, so at one time we waited uh when uh, about 20 of us were up there and we waited even for the very first person to be called and they were not called we were not called then the officer who was uh, receiving us upstairs, we kept asking, are, are we, what time are we being called? And we were like, they will call you, they will call you. So uh, he at one time he said, okay, let me go continue marching. I'll go up downstairs and check uh, how, 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 how what the arrangement is, why they have not started calling the very first person. That officer disappeared. We waited, he did not come back. So we were left there. So we waited, like about... 20 more minutes from the time that officer went downstairs, we said, hey, we have to go and check. Let me tell you guys, we were scammed. On reaching there, our handbags were not there. Our shoes were not there. It is only the outfits, the outfits that were there. And uh, the handbag and the shoes were never there. This is because they knew the 500 shillings that you had, they had asked you to come with, you had put it maybe in your handbag and you, maybe you had, uh, you know, some other money in it. And then, the 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 handbag has to be there the outfits you know the ones that you have removed had to be there so the very nice outfits were taken for those that had come in very nice outfits they were taken in the handbags and the shoes but those that were tattered and ragged they were all left there strewn in the compound 
and in the office. And that office, the three seats that we had found there, we did not find any when we came downstairs. Guys, and that is the way we were scammed. Our phones went, our handbags went, because we were all ladies, by the way. We were all ladies. They knew it is ladies who will be told much from there to here for 20 minutes and they don't ask a question. And it is, you have gone for an interview. What interview is this that you are going to match? We never questioned. Guys, hey, to the honor motto, do you know we did not even have fear to go back home? Scammers started scamming Mapema. They started scamming Ali. And this is how we lost our phones and our belongings, uh, like uh, IDs. We later went reporting to the police station and we were told a few days later that IDs were seen somewhere. They were thrown out somewhere, dumped somewhere. And a few of those that were lucky received theirs. And uh, the police, you could go to the police and you are told, okay, we've collected some IDs, come and check. Is yours there? So scammers, scammers, even when you are looking for a job, it started Mapema. It started those days. It's not that scamming is starting now. Guys, subscribe to this channel. Make a comment. Tell us whether you have ever gone through something like this in your life. You see you after subscribing in the next one. Bye-bye.